folks. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you a little bit perturbed tonight. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit pissed at the whole idea that our young folks are out there trying to make legislation change so that guns are illegal and unlawful and blah 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 because they're not being educated about what our rights are and it's all in the plan yeah I'm pissed I'm pissed because our young folks are being indoctrinated into the bullcrap New World Order. And the only damn way that the New World Order can do what they need to do is to disarm you and me. I'm not a crazy man. I call myself the I-5 Mad Hatter because I am absolutely freaking sick and tired. Of what's going on. They're teaching our kids. To turn. Their parents in. For being. Lawful people. Sorry folks. Those public education systems. What a joke they are. No wonder Trump wants to. Take it away from everybody. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. He took Miss DeVos and put her in charge of figuring out what the hell's going on with all these guns and kids shooting up the place. But I gotta tell you something. The FL deal, that little thing down there in that little that little peninsula, <laughs> well, I think there's something a little screwy about that whole thing. First, young lady, she said she heard a second shooter while she's walking out with the one that was accused of it uh, what oh and then we get to see it you know above overhead photographic evidence video evidence of a whole bunch of dudes dressed in black taking a bag of whatever it was put in the back of a truck and taking off with it what's that what is that? I ain't buying it, folks. A whole lot of us on this YouTube, we ain't buying it. Call me a conspiracy theorist if you will, but on my channel, I call myself a conspiracy fattest. Something's wrong with a whole bunch of kids all over the country running out screaming, Oh my God, we need to take away the guns from everybody. We need to take away the guns. No, 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 kids. You don't get it. Those guns that we have are meant to protect us from tyrants. Get it through your fucking heads. I'm a dad. I'm a grandpa. And I'm going to tell you something. You little sniveling, little 17, 16 year olds that don't know the first damn thing about civics need to go freaking study some civics about your rights, about where they come from, because they don't come from the government. They come from your creator. Let me poke you in the eye about that crap. Get it through your damn heads. Our rights do not come from the government. We do not beg the government for our rights. They're given to us by our creator. And if you don't get that, then the indoctrination has worked on you, kids.
And you're too stupid, too ignorant to get it. And until you do get it, until you understand the word ignorant, until you understand the word stupid, until you understand the word leftist, then we're all going to be separated. And the ones willing to die for their freedom will die for their freedom. And the ones willing to go to the FEMA camps to be re-indoctrinated, well, good luck to you. New World Order, good luck to you. There's a whole lot of guys like me, a whole lot of us former veterans. Well, former veterans, you can't be a former veteran. We are for, We are veterans. But a whole lot of us are here to educate the masses. Even if it's just 150 or so people who follow my channel. Who want to hear what I got to say. Well, what I have to say is, this whole walkout protest crap from the little kiddos. <laughs> so freaking what? Most of them just wanted to... Get out of school for a day or 17 minutes. Now I'm going to tell you, some of that crap actually did happen. But the story is not the way it was. I want to know about the fellers loading that black bag into the back of a pickup truck. I want to know why that young lady's walking out with the accused killer and yet she was still hearing gunshots going off. I want to know why Sheriff Israel, kind of funny how his name's Israel, and I want to know why his boys from the hood, you know, his sheriff's officers, stood down. I want to know that before we start ever prosecuting that young man for being the fall guy, the scapegoat, the patsy. I want to know why those officers loaded for bear stood down, didn't go in, take out the shooters. Shooters. Multiple. I want to know why. They ain't telling us something, folks. And the mass media is the worst at it. So, know this one thing. I'm tired and I'm sick and tired. I just heard this on the radio about... You know, all these kids going out and doing all this, you know, these stand-up things and how we're going to change the laws. Well, you know what? Criminals don't give a flying shit about the law. And I'll prove it to you like this. Take Roe v. Wade. You know, the women wanting to go out and kill their babies because they got stupid, spread their knees, let a man do them. And then they get pregnant. And then they go and they want to go kill that baby. Yeah. Yeah. They want to kill that baby. Do you think if Roe v. Wade were to be overturned, do you think that a woman that didn't want to have a baby would give a flying rat's ass about the law? Huh? Do you? Do you really? Because uh, if you think that a woman give a crap about the law, it'd be like me poking you in the eye. Uh-huh. I wouldn't give a crap about the law about poking you in the eye. That woman's going to go out and she's going to get an abortion from somebody that doesn't give a flying rat's ass about the law. The law is what we consent to. If you don't get that, 
you need to go back to civics class. Because the law has to be consented to. If I don't consent to a government's law, then that government has no freaking jurisdiction on me. None. Go study civics. Because I'll tell you something. Mr. Bill Cooper said it right. And this is what Mr. Bill Cooper said. That line in the sand that all of us draw, that once you cross that line, that little line in the sand, and you cross that line where my rights are, and I'm willing to die for those rights, that is where your rights are, folks. where they're at if you don't understand that <laughs> and Bill Cooper said it best Bill Cooper said it best then I don't know how to help you if you don't get that then you need to go back to civics class you need to go find out where your rights are ladies and gentlemen I'm being straight up, straight honest with you. Figure that out. Because if you don't, you won't have the ability to keep your stick on the ice.